In this video, we'll look at whether sodium oxide, that's Na2O, forms ionic or covalent bonds. So do the sodium atoms here form an ionic or covalent bond with the oxygen atom? If we look at the periodic table divided into metals and nonmetals, we find sodium right here, that's a metal. And then oxygen right here, that's a nonmetal. When we have a metal and a nonmetal, or metals and nonmetals, bonded together, that's almost always going to be ionic, with a few exceptions. So the bond between the sodium atoms and the oxygen atom, that'll be ionic. You might ask why we have two sodium atoms and only one oxygen atom. Since we're dealing with an ionic compound, we need to deal with ionic charge. We can look on the periodic table. This is divided up by ionic charge based on group. Find sodium. Right here is sodium in group one. That has a one plus ionic charge. We usually just write a plus. So each sodium atom here has a plus charge. Oxygen, that has a two minus. So we need two of these sodium atoms, each one has a one plus, to balance out the oxygen atom, which has a two minus. Because they're opposite charges, they'll be attracted and they'll form an ionic bond. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.